Hey guys, so here's my can of Jolt Cola from back in the day. Do you remember this drink? Jolt gained popularity in the mid to late 80s and really picked up steam in the 90s. It was marketed as the all sugar and twice the caffeine, and it had real sugar in it. They marketed that towards college students and high school gamers, that sort of thing. And each one of these cans contained a little over 70 milligrams of caffeine. Now to put this in perspective for you, most of the energy drinks today have more than 200 milligrams of caffeine. Wild, right? So Jolt Cola has, you know, some, some decent product placement too. Do you remember seeing it in Gremlins 2 in 1990? Or what about the first Jurassic Park? Or remember it in that movie Hackers in 1995? But it had pretty decent product placement for sure. And it still shows up from time to time in TV shows and films nowadays. You know, in the early 2000s, the sales of Jolt Cola began to decline as energy drinks gained popularity. However, the brand made a comeback in 2005 with the release of the Jolt Endurance Shot. I'm not sure if you remember that. It's basically a concentrated version of the drink that came in a two ounce bottle. Now, over the years, Jolt experimented with different flavors and variations. They introduced products like Jolt Cherry Bomb, Jolt Ultra, Jolt Electric Blue, and Jolt Red Eye, if you remember those. And in 2009, Wet Planet Beverages actually acquired the Jolt brand and relaunched it and updated the packaging and marketing campaigns as you know Jolt was having some financial troubles. The company focused on appealing to nostalgic consumers who remembered Jolt from the heyday, like me.